Okay, so a little bit of update on a video I did previously, specifically this one you're seeing on the screen. Um, Milagro ended up responding to me via station head. Apparently, she is extremely pissed at me and is the reason why I got blocked, which I'm not tripping about getting blocked on Twitter. It is what it is. But I guess because she felt like that I was creating some type of false narrative, she's decided to create some type of false narrative of her own. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So, Milagro Grams is, is getting harassed by this YouTuber called H Dog. Um, I don't know where he came from. He's a white YouTuber. You know how them white folks be acting when it comes to our black news. Now, see, I've never really understood that whole sentiment when uh, sometimes people do some things that's on a public platform. And to me, you can't really pick and choose on who responds to what. Okay, so allegedly, he has accused Malacro Graham's friend Rockstar for apparently threatening Joe Budden and Megan Thee Stallion. Okay, so let me give the timeline of events that led up to me even making this. On October 30th, I made a video titled Malago Grams Gets Sued by Megan Thee Stallion or something like that. You, you probably get the gist of it. And I spoke about that right that same day joe budden dropped his podcast and that was the same podcast he said that he was happy milagro got sued then on november 4th 2024 milagro posted this and that is the reason why i start what made me started to make the video in the first place because there are people that don't know who milagro is so I'm speaking for those people. Forgive me. They made a YouTube video. They put Joe Budden on one side and they put Megan on the other side. They put Rockstar from the trailer for Camp Mob in the middle with her pointing the gun towards the camera. And it says in quotations, no regrets. And the fucking caption says, did Milagro Graham's friend threaten Megan and Joe Button? Now, just like I shown before, there was no indication of her making it very clear that that was a camp mob trailer. That's on you. That's not on me. And trying to spin a narrative that I'm on some weird shit or anybody else on some weird shit, that's on you at the end of the day. Because I'd have to question how long have you had that trailer? Months? Weeks? Before you even... Had Joe said what he said before Megan even issued that lawsuit on October 30th. So why are you mad at me? You mad at me because I connected the dots. And I felt like even though it wasn't necessarily a threat per se or direct threat. People who don't know who you are, Milagro, are going to think that. So instead of getting mad at me, be mad at yourself. Don't be mad at nobody but you. I didn't even know nothing about this whole Kemp Mob event. Nobody knows about a Kemp Mob event outside of your diehard fans. Nobody. People who don't watch you don't know what the hell that is. I watch your content. I don't even know what that is. I just started watching you last year. Never even heard of you mention Kemp Mob before. Okay? And you're saying this on Station Ed, a platform where nobody be on. And she's trying to make it seem like I knew that that was a camp mob trailer. First of all, you uploaded it on YouTube, correct? You did not title that thing camp mob teaser trailer. If so, I would have never made the video. You think I would have made the video if you had a, had a caption that says camp mob reunion trailer, whatever the fuck. No, I would have never did that. Same goes. If you had a post of this months, or weeks before Megan sent you paperwork, or even before Joe Budden gave his rebuttal, you knew what you were doing. Stop acting like you ain't know what you were doing. You posted a clip of that without the mention of Camp Mob. Days removed from Megan giving you paperwork and what Joe Budden said. And you wanna look at me like I'm the bad guy? Like I'm the crazy one? I took it too far? No, you knew what the fuck you were doing. Nobody knows who you are outside of your own community. Just like nobody knows me. Nobody knows who the heck I am. And you know what's crazy? I figured you would have at least understood how I'm viewing this optically. 
and end the video because it's clear you didn't watch it. All I was saying is there's a possibility Megan's team, her lawyers, not saying that they should, her lawyers could use that clip and think that's a threat aimed at Megan Thee Stallion. And the reason why they're going to think that is because optically, it's a bad look, but forgive me for trying to look out for Milagro. And again, I've stated my stance on that whole lawsuit. I don't think Megan has a chance in hell of winning against Milagro because of the implications that it will set in place for the future. And also there was some of her fans coming to me saying that I was going to get sued. You can't sue somebody for what you post online. And plus, I ain't got shit for her to sue me for. Now y'all know motherfucking well that that ain't got shit to do with nothing you know that correct you know damn well one has nothing to do with the other the thing is though milagro there is a lot of people who don't know that there's a lot of people who don't know that that don't know don't have nothing to do with each other people just gonna look at it optically and you know take it away people who are joe button fans the ones who obviously are going to know that this isn't really like that are the ones who are the diehard fans. Outside of that bubble, nobody knows shit. And sometimes Milagro can come off and act like that everybody's supposed to know everything about her when in reality, not that many people know who you are about like not that many people know who I am. Now, sometime last night, I did issue my own little rebuttal in the comment section saying, I think this is taken the wrong way entirely when she posted that on Twitter and YouTube. Nowhere did it say anything about Camp Mob. And she posted the trailer days after Meg issued her lawsuit, as well as after what Joe said on his podcast, to which this YouTuber said. So I understand there was no context in regards to where that picture you took came from. But trust me, that had nothing to do with Megan or Joe because of your video or the context of the video is no longer there because you took a subscriber that follows her and now made her propaganda to that lawsuit. And it would have been better to ask her rather than assume. The thing is, though, there is no way in hell that she would have been able to even respond to me, little old me, if I even tried to DM her and say, yo, what's up with this? It's not like I got her number and I could just you know, easily text the phone and be like, hey, uh, Milagro, what's up with this? I can't do that. Like, I ain't got that luxury like other people, like the bigger people in the world, like the academics who could probably easily text Milagro on the fly and say, yo, what's up with this? Like, it looks kind of crazy on your end. And if, trust me, if I had it that easy, if it was that easy, I would have never made the video. I could just easily reach out to Milagro. Now, even though I said that, you know, she's not that big, she's still big enough for not to even respond to little old me. And look, the whole reason why I'm even doing this response and update video is to make sure that one day I don't have to respond to this in the future and it could be something that just rears its ugly head and takes on a life of its own to where I can't even control the narrative. It's best for me to think ahead instead of just, you know, just not responding now and wait till later. But with that being said, y'all let me know what you think about this in the comments below. Till next time, I'll see y'all in the next video. Peace.